Hi guys, it's Jessica here for a box opening, uh, which you can see behind me here. Um, it's on a chair, but this is a three foot tall doll box. Um, I don't know, this is this seems like the biggest, I don't know, I'll have to put it next to my doll sheet boxes and see um, if they're bigger, but um, <clears throat> this is what it says on the side of a pewter. It says, soon, and then it says, Dolls of My Secret. It's like, thanks, Zoom. That was awesome, picking that up from the post office. <laughs> Let's not make it weird. <laughs> but, uh, yep, this is a Zoom doll, um, a body, to be uh, exact. And um, this is, it'll be in the title, so I might as well tell you. This is a, a Zoom Idealian 75 centimeters. So I'm pretty sure that this is their newest version. Um, my Vinitu, who is up here in the corner, is on the 72 centimeter body. Um, he might be getting moved to this. We'll see. There's some possibilities of who will get, be getting this body. Um, so this was actually a trade. Um, I can't remember now if I even actually showed you guys <laughs> the 72 centimeter doll zone body that I had, the white skin one. I don't know if I even got it and showed it in the video, but I just, I just didn't care for it. Um, I like my tan one, but I just really didn't care for that body. Um, and uh, this body was for sale, um, and I just didn't even think that there would be any possibility uh, of trading, um, but <laughs> um, turns out they were really pretty desperately wanting the doll zone body. Um, so went ahead, I really, really wanted this body. This, uh, this I got this from um, her name is, uh, her YouTube video is iDolls, and I covered up her info here, uh, but her, uh, her YouTube and her Instagram, pretty sure they're both called iDolls. Um, she got this body from Meekstall, and I remember when Meekstall was selling this body, and it just, I had too many other things going on, um, it, but I just like, oh, I really wanted it, I really wanted to buy that body. Um, but it just wasn't, it just wasn't good timing when she had it for sale. Um, so I went ahead and traded this to iDolls. Um, get through, I don't want to cut the box underneath. So before I go all the way into this box, I just got done talking to, um, to, to iDolls, the, the girl who bought or trade, or excuse me, traded with me. And so we both, we both sent our dolls off on last Friday. Um, and they both arrived, they both arrived yesterday, but we, both of us were at work. And so both of us <laughs> went to the um, uh, post office today and picked up our dolls. So she, uh, she, this her video might be up before mine even I haven't watched it yet but I got to talking to her and she loves the body love loves the body which I'm super happy about but like um, like all the fingers were broken all of them like I don't know she showed me a picture was there like two fingers that were still on I just I just wanted to cry um I wrapped uh he was in a doll zone box I took the box from um, the one that I have my dear doll on now, I took that box because I know I'm never going to be selling this, these dolls. Um, and so I thought I wanted a, a nice secure box to send it in. So I put it in there with the pillows. Um, I wrapped, um, uh, bubble wrap, bubble wrap around the hands, um, around the feet. I always put a bunch of it around the the S hook so that it doesn't because um, I've had I've had plenty of doll bodies um, and like you pick up the box and there's a big hole in it from the S hook <laughs> like those S hooks will just stab right through so um, I always try to cover the S hook and I had this moment 
when I was packing them up, I had this moment where I was like, maybe you should take the hands off um, and wrap them separately. And like, you know, I bought and sold plenty of dolls and never had a problem. So I didn't do that. And I never have, I've never done that. But I just had this, I just had this thought, like maybe I should do that. Um, so I will from now on. Um, maybe I'll even take the feet off too, because I still remember that video that Ann Picaro posted when she opened up a doll and the ankles were broken, like somehow the impact there from the feet and had broken the ankles, um, which is a really hard thing to repair. Um, so I don't know, especially with these really big dolls, I might, uh, I might start doing that just to be on the safe side. Um, but that's a huge bummer. I just sent, uh, just before I sat down to do this video, I, um, I sent an email to Alice's Collections asking them if I could order the hands for the doll zone. I think it's the 004, whichever body it is, um, the uh, 72 centimeter doll zone body. And if, if doll zone for whatever reason won't let me just buy those hands, then I will, I will buy the jointed hands for her. Um, cause I just feel so bad. Like that is just terrible. And I just feel so bad too, because it's freaking doll zone. It's not like that's going to come in in a month or two. Like maybe it will, maybe we'll get lucky. Um, fingers crossed, fingers and toes crossed. Maybe that would be really speedy and we'd get it in a couple of months. Um, but you know, it's, it's six or seven months from anything from doll zone or doll chateau. So, um, if anybody has some hands or sees some on the, on the secondhand market, uh, but I, I wanted to get those, um, I really wanted the jointed hands for this body, but they don't make them in tan. And I, that's, I really like them. I really like the jointed hands. They're very, they're very nice. But anyways, if I can't buy those hands straight up, then I'll just go ahead and get the jointed hands because I feel terrible. I feel super horrible. It's the only way that I will feel better about it is if I can get her another pair of hands for that doll. <laughs> I, I just can't, oh, that would be terrible. Um, I did, I did have a doll, uh, that I opened that had broke a few broken fingers. Um, it was this guy here. Um, and, but he had another pair of hands. It was the, the claw hands, which I wanted to put on him more. So the, the, the broken hands are still in his box. And, and that was, you know, not cool, but it was like, at least I had another pair of hands that came with them to use. Um, but, and that was what was on my mind too. I thought about that doll. I thought about the fact that that doll had broken hands. They were the ones that he was wearing and they got broke. So yeah, I'm just going to start taking off hands and feet now because now I'm going to be paranoid forever because of, of this live and learn, I guess. I just, again, I feel so fucking horrible. I feel so awful. Um, so cool doll zone box, or excuse me, doll uh, zoom, zoom box. Um, and <clears throat> dolls are my secret. Is that what it's always said? I, ha I have other zoom boxes, but I just don't remember that. Um, oh, it's right. He's in a pillow. I forgot. They do, zoom does have nice pillows. They have uh, the pillows that wrap around the hands and the feet, which is really nice. Um, oh. Look at that, she included a, a little top. That's nice, it's, oh, that's so cool. It's like a, um, like a slash zipper that goes across. That'd be kind of a neat, you can use this as a jacket. Yeah, that's neat, look at that. Oh, they let the monsters out of school. Those are the junior high kids, you can always tell. They're the most obnoxious. <laughs> Uh, oh, I can't get the zipper, but I can see, I remember this in her, in her video now. Maybe you're not supposed to unzip it all the way. Maybe not. I don't know, but it's got this mesh in it. And I, I saw that and thought it was pretty cool. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. That's awesome. Um, let's see here. Where's the zipper? There it is. If 
not, maybe I should take it out of here, but I think it's gonna be easier if I leave it. I don't know how much this body weighs. Um, I was tempted to weigh the box. I was really tempted to. So here he is. Oh, good idea, putting some of these in there too. Um, is it too bright? It's too bright. <laughs> That's actually pretty good back there, huh? Um, but yeah, Zoom, Zoom has these little hand and feet protector covers. Let's check the hands. Beautiful, looks nice. Beautiful. Oh, these are really nice. I really like these. Um, so, um, I have the 72 centimeter Idealian body and um, had heard lots of bad things about it. Like, I never heard anything good. Everyone just complained about hor how horrible it was. And then when I got mine in, I really liked it. I actually really liked it a lot. So I'm hoping that I like this guy uh, just as much or more, because I know that he's had a lot of improvements, I guess especially the knees. Um, oh, I forgot this. I forgot that he's got these, like, clawed feet. That's funny. I can't, I can't remember what he was, what uh, um, his uh, model was. Okay, uh, it's all nudity coming your way. Oh, I think he's really beautiful. Oh, he's really gorgeous. Like he's, he's big, but um, you gotta, you gotta understand guys. <laughs> I have a Titan, I have a Granado Titan. Like nothing compares to how big and crazy and heavy that body is. Um, oh, I really like him. I did, oh, not all of the. I think he's a, a little bit loose. I could probably. Oh, that will, or the shoulders are so cool. Look at the mechanism in the shoulder. All that. I need to get back on to doing my body reviews because I have quite a few <laughs> and then it, uh, especially for comparisons too comparing between bodies it looks like they fixed did they fix the problem with the um so that you can yeah they did there was uh, an issue with the uh peanut joint in the other body it looks like they fixed that he's got Nice. You can do that. How far can you go? He doesn't have a mobility joint there. And I don't think my other body, the other Zoom body does either. Um, and having the mobility joints there is a double-edged sword. Um, for a lot of dolls, it can make them harder to stand and less stable, though there's lots of dolls that have them that don't have that problem. Um, but. Uh, this guy is pretty cool. Yeah, look at his toes. <laughs> that's pretty, that's really hilarious. I mean, he's probably going to be wearing shoes most of the time. I'd actually be kind of worried about those breaking off in shoes. I thought about filing them down. We'll see how much of trouble they give me. I don't want him to break a toe. Okay, I'm going to pause the video here and get out some heads that we can try out. And I will see you guys in a few moments. Okay, I've got uh, the Vinitu head on this body and yeah, I haven't bothered to put any other heads on because um, Amergen wants to stay on this body. <laughs> he's pretty, he's pretty happy. Um, I am, I'm really pleased with this body. Um, I was definitely nervous about getting another um, Zoom body because uh, traditionally <laughs> I have not been um, super happy with Zoom and Zoom bodies, but I really liked the 72 centimeter and this body was supposed to have a bunch of improvements and yeah, I really like it a lot. And it's definitely, it's definitely a greatly improved body um poses really nicely like this is 
Um, I think if you are, are a person who hasn't had a lot of dulky, uh, bulky, big men bodies, um, then like there's just, they're going to be a certain way. <laughs> they're not going to have the same posability as um, a female doll or, or a very lanky male doll. Um, the bulkiness just has things that come along with it. Um, and it's a challenge and um, this this is probably I need to play with him some more and that kind of thing but just just out of the box and a little bit of playing that I've done with him so far um, I'm really I'm really pretty impressed um, really pretty impressed with the posing and how stable he is um, I mean he could use tightening uh, but, uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, he's pretty stable. He has a really nice slouch. It's a really gorgeous slouch. Um, and, like, it even looks nice. A lot of times with a, this extreme of a crouch, it doesn't look very nice. Um, yeah. So he doesn't have that mobility joint. Uh, but, and I like those mobility joints, but for most dolls, especially men dolls, uh, they're usually going to be wearing pants of some kind. Though I, I have some that are in kilts and robes and that sort of thing. Um, but engaging that mobility joint to do that, you know, that position where they can hug their knee to them. I really love that when dolls can do that. Um, but I love my twiggling girls and they can't do that. Um, and uh, like I said, usually when they're wearing pants, you can't do that really anyways for most dolls. I have, I'm not able to, I'm not able to, the, it just, the clothes get in the way. And so, um, but I'm, yeah, I'm pretty happy, pretty. Uh, um, so I, I think that this body, it's, it's bigger. It's, you know, a good, you know, it's a three centimeter height difference, but somehow, um, and it's just as muscular, but somehow just manages to look a little more elegant with some of the posing. The posing is less stiff. Um, I'm going to grab the other body. Um, let me see. The one thing is that he doesn't have a lot of downward looking ability um, which is just kind of a problem with that head sculpt especially he has that issue on his own body it's because of the way his sculpt is designed um, but I'm bringing in another big new doll I've already put my Mo doll Solus head on this one and I've had my Venitu on this up until this moment um, and you can see how big a difference. Um, let me see, I'll move him forward because he is just a little bit behind. Um, yeah, so that's, I'm kind of curious. I want to actually measure and see, but yeah, they, you know, technically from the from the technical measurements, there should be about three centimeters difference. Um, the, this body is gorgeous. I mean, the, the sculpting on it is fantastic. It's definitely, especially when I have these right next to each other, even bulkier. And like just um, these pants, uh, these are pants that I made for the 28M body. Um, and they were pretty snug on this guy and they're actually kind of a, t a little bit loose on the waist on him so i think he is he's a little bit leaner a little bit um this guy definitely is a little more on the rip side um but yep i'm super duper happy so i'm not even gonna bother <laughs> i was gonna put my um uh fifth motif gua head on there but i'm really happy with with the gua head on the long sole body. Um, it was the body that I had 
originally wanted for him that, that I liked so much how it looked. So um, I think that this is, this is going to stay. Um, definitely going to need to make some more clothes. He does, I think he's pretty much going to fit my um, pants pattern that I've been for my, you know, my 75 centimeter big boys. <laughs> he's he's going to fit those pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, and I did want to make an updates video. I don't know if that's going to happen this afternoon. Maybe, maybe I'll have time to do that tomorrow. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks so much again to Rose um, for sending me this body. And I hope that we can get... Uh, things fixed with uh, her guy's hands <laughs> uh, that they'll let us order in those hands and if not we'll get the we'll get her the jointed ones oh see ya have a good day guys